The pink pill is the pink pill now. Put your piggies up now, up, up now, up. Live well to the extreme now. Put your piggies up now, up, up now, up. Hey, it's Pinky. You're on the Pink Pill YouTube channel. Be a love and like, share, and subscribe. Pinky's up. Hey, Pinkies. Okay, so this is a doozy. You guys are really great about sending me WTF videos. I listened to one of the videos that featured a man from an incel group. Definitely on the fringe, a little bit radical. Okay, no, I would say a lot radical. There was some commentary on it. We're gonna listen to it together. And then I'm gonna share how I feel about all of it. All right, so let's go. It's time that we literally enslave women. We must strip them. Okay. It's time that we literally enslave women. If I could raise an eyebrow, I wish I could. It gets worse. That's Every right they think they have. No more freedom of speech or expression. No more voting rights. No more lobbying. No more jobs. They must not even be allowed to own property. Right now, men are the oppressed class in the West. Men are... Men are the oppressed class. Okay, I need to hear more. Slave to women through child support, alimony, and other divorce laws. And if men are unable or unwilling to- Okay. This man, he's black. And he says that child support and spousal support are enslaving men. I'm assuming because this guy's black, He's representing black men. That's weird though, because 43% of black men marry, so that means the majority of them aren't married. So how are the men of his group being oppressed if the minority of them actually get married at all? But let's continue. Slaves to these women, they are thrown in jail like animals. Our lives are being ruined and everything we work hard for is being stolen by women. Women even choose whether or not we can see our children. We as men not only don't have control over the family, we don't even have control over our lives. Our response to our oppression as men has been to fight for equality peacefully. Meanwhile, women aren't fighting for equality. They're fighting for dominance. And even with all the advantages women already have at our expense, they're still fighting for more. No wonder we're losing this gender war. Hell, we aren't even fighting back. Abandon any idea of equality that you might have. There would never be fairness between the genders because women can't settle for fairness. Abandon all hope, all ye who enter here. The gender war is literally, according to him, Dante's Inferno. Y'all men got it really bad, according to him. Okay, let's keep going. For a female, it's all or nothing. She doesn't want peace, she wants to rule you. The only way we can truly win this gender war women are waging against us is to completely subjugate every single female. We have to force women into literal slavery. Legally and culturally, we must make women into the permanent slave class of this society. Hear that, ladies? Permanent slave class. We need to be the permanent slave class. I want you to keep in mind, this is a black man who's Black American and the majority of us who've been here for generations, we're here because <sighs> the slave trade. Can you believe the audacity? The audacity of most likely a descendant of the slave trade saying that 50% of the population in which he represents needs to be stripped of all rights, all voting rights, all property rights, everything. The audacity of a likely descendant of a slave because, listen, my maiden name is Russell. Russell is English. How do you think I got that name? So clearly he and I have had the same experiences, but for some reason, he feels like I'm dominating him and therefore 
He needs to enslave me and you. It gets worse, way worse. Let's go. Imagine it. The same women who disrespect men on a daily basis won't even be allowed to speak without permission, lest she be slapped in her mouth. The same women who are currently keeping you away from your children will be hung for being a single mother whore. All the cheating wives we're dealing with now. A single mother whore. Huh, really? So how do all these single mothers come to be? Are the babies produced in Petri dishes? How do these things happen? I think they happen from a contribution from actual male sperm. And if we're talking about black people, black male sperm, he believes that he should have all the privileges and you should have none. If you are a single mother, it doesn't matter if you are divorced, if you are widowed, or somebody manipulates you into having a child. How many of you have been told by somebody you were dating, ooh, baby, our kids would be so beautiful. Have my baby, have my baby tonight, right? But it's all our fault and we should be hung. Oh my God, it gets worse. Cheating wives we're dealing with now will either be dead or in jail because they broke their vows. Every aspect of our lives will be improved once we finally do what we were meant to do and subjugate our women. Look at our relationships. Men and women aren't getting along and no one is staying married. Even Wait, so men and women would get along if women were slaves, hung for cheating or leaving their husbands. When it comes to dating, no one's happy. All you see are men trying to figure out what women want and how to give it to them. This is not how society is supposed to operate. Firstly, a woman shouldn't be choosing who she marries or mates with. Either the father decides who she'll be marrying or in the case of fatherlessness, the interested man will decide if he'll be marrying her. She oh, so your dad has to choose. But if you don't have a dad, fatherlessness in our community, now we're at 68%, but it's still higher than anybody else. So. If you don't have a father around to choose your husband for you, then a man is just supposed to be able to like knock you over the head with his club and drag you back to the cave and you're gonna be his wife. That's what he's saying that would get us all just in a yin and yang. If women would just be slaves, let's just make them have to do everything we say. And if they don't do it, we put them in jail or we string them up. This is brilliant. Why didn't anybody think of this before? I have no say in the matter. Look at how backwards we are in regards to rape. If a woman gets raped or says she's been raped, men are immediately thrown in prison. Meanwhile, there's men being raped every day in prison and no one cares. In a healthy society, a woman walking around in the street wearing whatever she wants not only should be raped, she deserves to be raped. Oh boy. Wait, 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 wait. He said men in prison are being raped every day. Dude, how did you get in prison? You know when you go in the clink, you got all the swagger outside of prison. But when you get into prison where you have to deal with only men, and now you're worried about being raped, but you think it's okay. A skirt above the knee, maybe she's showing a little cleavage. Right now I'm showing a little cleavage. Where is the line? She smiled at me, she must have wanted to be raped. She's wearing a V-neck shirt. She must wanna be raped. Her eyes are pretty. She must wanna be raped. Sex and reproduction are her only purposes. Her body was designed for those two things only. Right now, the workplace is very hostile towards men because of female presence. This entire situation makes no sense because a woman is not supposed to earn a living or own property. Men are walking on eggshells, hoping not to offend their female coworkers, when in reality, these women should be bent over the nearest desk for intruding on a male space. A woman- Hmm, okay, so. There is a backlash in the workplace. Why? 
Have any of you guys ever watched Mad Men? Do you guys remember the things that men would say to women? The stuff that women would have to do? It's your own fault. If you're expressing frustration because the pendulum is swung in the other direction, it's because you didn't police your rogues, the ones who wanted to negotiate on the couch, who wanted to exploit the sexuality of women so that they could get what they want while you guys look the other way. And now you're dealing with the reaping of what you sow. Yeah, some of it is a little bit extreme. You can't even tell a woman she smells good anymore or that she looks good. But that's because you didn't police your rogues. And now this is where we are. But you can't blame women for that. Can you imagine if women, particularly black women, could not work? Black women outnumber black men by two million. That means that if every black man married a black woman, there would still be millions of us not paired. According to this man's worldview, how could they live? What would they do? Be beggars on the street? Turn tricks? Like what? Listen, the reality of the situation is we have to. Black women have always had to work. I don't understand this. I don't understand the adoption of other talking points from other communities where the men at least gave the women some semblance of security. We don't have that. And the outrage over child support and spouse support, are you serious? Marry more black women before you start complaining about spouse support. You sound dumb. Places at home, not outside or at work. There should be no female managers or business owners. Quite literally, the only reason she should be leaving the house alone is if she failed to be a good wife to her husband and was kicked out. In a sick society, women can get away with saying things like, if mama's not happy, nobody's happy. In a sane society, if mama isn't happy, no one would know it because a bad attitude would get her beheaded and replaced swiftly. Ladies, in this man's world, if you have a bad attitude, that's so sexy. Mm. Mm. It's time for men to give women two choices. Either they will accept their place in society as a new slave class or they will be deleted. No exceptions, no compromises. This is it more. Oh boy, so much to say. The solution ladies, according to him, is that you should be second class citizens. You should be treated worse than a dog. And that's how we would solve the gender war, if we just let men do whatever they want. So you might say, see, this is the reason why we shouldn't be messing with them because these type of men and how they are, this is what they're doing to us. They're out here killing us. This is how they think. And therefore, anybody else is going to be a better choice. Now. I am never going to argue the fact that in our community, there's a lot more misogyny, there's a lot more of exploitation of black women's resources. You know that, I'm not gonna argue that. But to say that it only exists here and that this is the reason why, it's kinda like saying, if a serial killer has red hair, then you must avoid all redheaded men because they're gonna be serial killers. How silly does that sound? We do have issues that are prevalent and dominant in our culture more so than other cultures. But if you think that you don't have to do any vetting at all, when you're dating other men, and this is coming from the lady who literally wrote the book about black women and interracial relationships. I'm telling you that you can't just say, leave them alone and anybody over here is gonna be okay. Because I'm gonna share with you a clip right now from somebody who is not black, another content creator who has a blog and a YouTube channel and was featured on the Dr. Phil show. Here's what he said. There's nothing more liberating and freeing to a woman than chauvinism. A woman has no responsibilities because I don't expect her to get anything right. All women are whores. 
They trade sex for money, they trade sex for cars. How is prostitution illegal? But alimony isn't. They're basically the same thing. You're paying for the whore to leave. A penny saved is a woman fired. Women make horrible employees. Women should not be allowed to vote. It's ridiculous. A woman president would be a disaster. Does this sound familiar? Because I swore I could have heard like the same thing that the black dude said a second ago. But this guy's not a black dude. Let's go on. Women know in their hearts that women cannot make decisions. A woman would never vote for Hillary Clinton. She embarrassed herself by not pleasing her man, essentially. And women know it. Well, women are only good for having kids. Uh, unfortunately, they're not very good at raising them. Hitler was raised by a single mother. Men have created everything you see in the world. Hitler was raised by a single mother. You know who else was raised by a single mother? Barack Obama, but okay. Men invented electricity. Men invented cures for diseases. Has he not ever heard of Madame Curie? the cure for cancer, radiation. She literally sacrificed her life so that people can outlive cancer. And only men discover cures for diseases. These are the type of men you want running things? Every brick you see is there because a man put it there. The only thing women really do with their time is spend men's money. Men, this is what you look like to a woman. This is all they're after. But women can't do math. They can't be organized. They can't lead a company. They can't take risks. They can't drive for crap. You can't blame women for what they do wrong in the same way that you can't blame a dog for what it does wrong. It's your fault for not training it properly. So how is it different from what he said? Shouldn't vote, shouldn't work, shouldn't own property, shouldn't drive. Only good for reproduction. He's white though, is he better? The point is ladies, these extreme ideas on both sides and there's probably more men who kinda in the back of their mind believe that. But the fact of the matter is, is that if you're just looking to make better choices about relationships, about choosing better men who have better character overall, because what I teach is character above color overall. If you see the first video, if you hear the first video, you may hear somebody say, you need to leave them all alone. But here's the white guy saying the same thing. Do you leave them all alone? The key is you gotta vet these guys. Insanity has no color. Chauvinism, misogyny has no color. And if you think that it does, you're gonna choose the wrong guy every time. So I'm gonna give you a happy medium though. Let's hear an actual mentally sound, sane man say essentially the root of what these men are trying to say, but intelligent enough to know that women are of value too. Let's hear it. I figured it out. Our country would be a better place if our women would stay home. You can't say that. Think about it. We wouldn't have all these little jackass kids running around having no idea what respect is because mom would be beating that ass. And if that's not good enough, wait till your father gets home. Oh, you fucked up. And there will be no more starving people in our country because all the extra sandwiches being made. That's the beginning of time. Men. <laughs> We were the providers, women were the nurturers, they were our balance. We were each other's equal half. Look, I'm not saying that this is the women's fault. What I'm saying is this is the women's fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Okay, I'm not saying he's perfect, okay? I don't know anything about him. So don't at me with some crazy stuff he said down along the line. I'm just saying in this particular video, I can buy into not everything, but I can buy into a lot of what he's saying. <laughs> it's funny, but okay, let's go. It's the feminists, it's the women feminists. The ones that look like Hillary Clinton. Listen up, lesbians. Feminists, lesbians, feminists. You're talking about women's rights in our country. If you're so worried about women's rights, go over to the Middle East and see how fast you're tied up to a tree like a dog. Can't well, he's got a point there. Can't really argue that. 
I think, what is it, Saudi Arabia just allowed women to start driving? Inch your skin, you'll be covered from head to toe. You gotta look at the ground and walk 100 feet behind the men. I'm pretty sure women's rights in America are doing just fine. They're out at the bar half naked, drunk as shit, showing everyone how they can deep throat a beer can. Any woman out there working has a baby. Deep throat a beer can. I've never tried that, have you? They give her maternity leave. Ask that. They give men maternity leave too. Just saying. And if she wants to go back to work. No! No, no, we don't, we don't. She wants to stay home with that baby and raise it, nurture it. She doesn't want to leave her child. That's It's in her biological makeup to do that. Take the fastest man in the world versus the fastest woman in the world. Who's going to win that race? Take the strongest man in the world versus the strongest woman in the world. Who's going to lift more? I'll wait. There are things that men can do that women can't, and there are things that women can do that men can't. Mm -hmm. Like... Give birth to mankind. See, him saying that right there is different than the only worth a woman has is her reproduction. He understands that she is the portal for entire mankind, mankind in its entirety. That is a level of respect, not contempt. He's still a little bit eh, you know, a little bit Archie Bunker, but there's some respect there. He said, we're equal halves of the whole. Not subjugating, not enslaving, not hanging from a tree because you didn't make him a sandwich. Hey man, man, man. Whatever, give birth to humans. Like the most important job in the world. Okay, mm -hmm. now, I think women are just as smart as men, if not. Did you hear that from dude from Dr. Phil? or dude from, I don't even know. They do not believe that. He does. I'm listening to him. He's got a point. Smarter, definitely more sneaky. Eve, you ate the apple. I think women are just as capable as men in the workplace. All I'm saying is. He thinks women are just as capable as men in the workplace. He's not saying that they gotta be bent over and exploited, okay? All right, this guy's reasonable, I'm listening of time there was a man and a woman it was okay for the man to be the provider and it was okay for the woman to be the nurturer they both had their job mm -hmm. our country was a better place when the man went to work to provide for his family and the woman stayed home not to just cook and do the laundry and have dinner ready when i get home woman the woman stayed home and raised our youth <laughs> yeah well not every man is capable of providing in the same way so if I don't want to live in a cardboard box, then maybe I'm going to have to contribute. You know, men are running things. And now we are in a situation where with the cost of living, if you don't want to live in the middle of nowhere, in a hovel, in a hut made of hay and mud and horse poop, you're going to need to make a little bit of money. If you want your kids to be educated properly, you're going to have to make a little bit of money. The average black man makes about $40,000, $44,000 a year. The average white guy makes $50,000 a year. I live in California. If you live in New York, Florida, Chicago, you're gonna need to make more than $50,000 a year so that your wife can be comfortable staying at home. So do better, do better, men. You're making the rules, do better. And for those of you who can't do, then you need to shut the F up. What he's saying at the latter part of this, it's blah, 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 wah, 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 wah. But what he said at the beginning was that women are equal but different, that men are physically stronger and that's okay, that women hold the portal for humanity and that he has value for them. And you know what? A lot of us are sick of freaking working. Why are there so many books that women are doing so that they can secure providers. It's because a huge chunk of us want them. So we can't simultaneously bristle about an issue. Many of us really want, okay? It's okay to say that, it's fine. But it's okay if you don't want it, it's fine too. If you wanna get your own, hey, I, got, I get my own too. But you know what? I'm still cool with following my fingernails and gardening and being freaking Cinderella in a Disney movie, you know, talking to birds and rabbits and shit, okay? So 
This is the kind of guy I would listen to over these two extremist men. The point of this video is this. You can't go by the color. You gotta go by the character. You gotta go by the value system. You gotta go by the beliefs. And that has nothing to do with this. So when you see these videos, either on one side or the other, remember that the sweet spot is in the middle. I'm Crystal Ann Karazin, the creator of The Pink Bill. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, pink is out. The Pink Bill is the Pink Bill now. Put your piggies up now, up, up now, up. Live well to the extreme now. Put your piggies up now, up, up now, up.